Welcome back to another video folks. Today I am showing you the completed um, light armour car box from Battlefront for the new mid-war Africa Corps and as you can see I have two 221s and two 222s, that's a lot of twos to say um, and I have got them with the 2.8cm uh, the anti-tank gun but I've also painted the machine gun turret options so I can swap them in and out now I should point out that I have used a couple of old 222s I had lying around so that I've got two patrols two patrols of three the 2.8 centimeter on the command vehicle. Now it's worthwhile going over the, the differences. Let's bring these two out. So you can possibly see the difference there, for instance, on the, the sculpting on the grill over the fighting compartment. It's a lot neater on the new sculpt. It's not so neat on the old one. But I prefer the the wire mesh on the old one to the new one because this is a bit soft on detail, you know, you can see bald patches. But otherwise, I do prefer the newer sculpt. The proportions are a bit better. Certainly the wheels. I've got more detail on them. So it's a thumbs up for the new sculpts for me. Oh, and you can also see, whilst, whilst we're here, let's have a look at some of the, the storage I've put on these things. I mean, these guys are running around the desert on their own devices, so I've got them with um, camouflage netting, bed rolls, tarpaulins, and you can see as well, I've put a little mount there for a, a jerry can. Now on some of them I have also did a little bit of scratch building with some green stuff and some plastic card to put a rack of jerry cans on the front. So between them they've got lots of extra cans of fuel. Now I've painted these in the way that um, will be familiar to you if you've seen my How to Paint the Africa Core videos. You can see I've got distressing around all the edges and there's some modulation and streaking, light streaking, dark streaking. The crew on this one are a metal crew. They are from a Marder or a Hummel. I can't quite remember what. I think it might be a Hummel. But they've been put to use. And you can see the overall worn veteran look that these guys have. Here's another, another good example of the difference in the sculpt between the wheels and the new, which is a closer to the pair there, and the old. Now you can see I've based them as well, and I made that decision after working with them and painting them. And to be honest, it was becoming a bit of a pain, the amount of paint that was coming off the wheels. So with them being such small vehicles, I've decided just to base them. Give them a bit of durability going forward. And that's the standard basin that's on my uh, infantry units. And is that a video? You can see how I would do that on the video, how to paint the um, Africa Core blister. So overall it's two very nice little units, incredibly cheap in terms of points in the game. You don't have to be careful with them because they got smashed to bits very easily but I could imagine these getting in and about and harassing artillery and anti-tank guns getting around their flanks and causing a bit of a nuisance. So there you go with the addition of a couple of old sculpts of the two two twos 
There are two light armour car patrols for my growing DAC company. <laughs>